So, there's going to be women in the UFC now. Let me make a comment about this in a video. When I first heard it, I was just waiting for some more information about it. There hasn't been much more, except they just signed two. That was Rousey and Tate. I'm sure they plan on selling more. I mean, they can't have a division just with two uh, fighters in it. But who are they going to get that's any good in the women's division? They could recruit. All they'd have to do is go to a bar at closing time in well, the parking lot. I'm sure there's a lot of girls fight there. Same thing, isn't it? Yeah. Since we're on the subject of the UFC, who is actually in the UFC? Are they legitimate black belts? I'm sure the UFC flashes around their names and tries to hype them up into some superstars that nobody really knows about, except outside the circle of the UFC MMA. Uh, I was doing some research online. All they are is a bunch of uh, ex-cons, street fighters, street thugs, passing themselves off as martial artists. Is there any really true black belts in it? Well, if you look at the bios, it will say black belt in this, black belt in judo. Uh, it all depends on how they got their black belt. You know, people have to be certified to get black belts out. Were they, you know, certified instructors giving them black belts? I don't know. They, they, that's not the point, anyway. Because they don't use much what they learn, anyway, and it's just a street fight. You would probably see more street fighting techniques in MMA than you do actually actual martial arts. Uh, another interesting thing too I saw online is a whole list of uh, MMA fighters who have been arrested for different reasons. I'm not going to give their names, but it's here. One was arrested for probation violations, felony, felony domestic violence. You know, these are martial artists. <laughs> Come on. They're street thugs. There's a whole list of one. You look it up if you want. Uh, that's the whole problem with this so-called sport. Are they athletes? Yeah, they're in shape. Like I said before, you know, because you're in shape doesn't mean you're an athlete. It's because you go into the gym and learn how to throw punches and a few kicks and some takedowns. Does that make you a true martial artist? No. That's why so many people can come on off the street and join the MMA, especially in the women's division. Because that's basically what they do. A lot of the women in the WMMA, they don't have a lot of martial arts backgrounds. They have uh, dancing backgrounds. I think I touched on this before in other videos. You know, how do you justify that as a martial artist when you walk in off the street in your early 20s to mid 20s and decide one day I'm going to fight? Well, you learn some kicks, some takedowns. Uh, and then they call themselves a martial artist. And they go in the ring, or the cage, I should say, say and make fools out of themselves. There's only one really true martial artist, and that's Rousey. She does have a black belt in judo. And you should see what she's doing. She's uh, beating these street fighters. And she should. I mean, any martial artist should be able to beat a street fighter. Now, how you don't see legitimate... Uh, street fighters, <laughs> legitimate MMA fighters, or I should say martial artists in the MMA. And there are a lot of them out there. There's a guy from Britain. I can't remember his name. He's British. He's the uh, full contact karate champion. I think he has something like a 32-0 record. And he's undefeated. You don't see him in the MMA, do you? 
I bet if you went in it, though, you'd be like Rousey. You'd be knocking people out in the first round. Because these aren't true martial artists, and they can't be. I mean, it looks too sloppy, for one thing. And that's what a street fight is. It's sloppy. This isn't a true martial arts event. It's a fighting event. Like I said before, martial arts were never meant to be a combat sport. It was put in place self-defense. Defend yourself against an enemy, a superior enemy, actually. That's why it was the monks uh, went into Kung Fu. It was to be able to defeat the Chinese army. And they were outmanned, outgunned, or outweaponed, I should say, back in those days. This is how they put that system in place. To be able to defend themselves against a superior opponent. That's what the martial arts is really about. Not getting in the cage and throwing somebody in the down, mounting them and start punching them. That's ridiculous. But do people really like this? Well, as far as what the internet's saying, uh, they're losing viewers. The events aren't selling out. They're being canceled. This has been a novelty that's wearing out. Granted, it's a 20-year novelty, but I think people are starting to see what it is. You know, nothing but a street fight. A sanctioned street fight in the cage. People that shouldn't even be fighting, especially in the women's division. I think uh, Donna White is doing this out of desperation, bringing Rousey in. He needs to boost his ratings. I mean, I mean come on, the WWE, how fake that is, is, is outperforms the UFC in ratings. What does that tell you? Anyway, uh, feel free to leave a comment.